What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today I'm showing you the BIOS on the Z97i Gaming AC motherboard. Now this should be pretty much the same BIOS throughout MSI's gaming series um, Z97 motherboards. So it should be pretty much the same throughout all of those different motherboards. Um, some settings might be a little bit different depending on the hardware obviously, but it should be pretty much the same throughout the entire series. So when you go into the BIOS you have brought to this main screen screen which you see here lets us know that this is the Z97i gaming motherboard. Um, there are two buttons right here which are pretty easy and self-explanatory. The OC Genie button, if you click it, it will go ahead and instantly overclock your system. When we did it, it brought our um, i7-4770K up to 4 gigahertz from 3.5. Um, it all depends, of course, on the CPU that you have installed. And the XMP button, of course, will set your XMP profile instantly on your memory so you don't have to go in and you know change it yourself. We have temperature monitor here for both the CPU and the motherboard. Of course, we have our date, time, um, the version of the BIOS, and all of that. Down here, we do have boot device priority, so this will show all of the boot device priority, and you can set it how you want it. Just It's really, really easy to do. And of course, this gives us all of our information on our processor, um, the frequency, uh, memory and all of that stuff. Now you're you have all these different options over here and I'm gonna go over each one. So your settings is your basic motherboard settings. So this is everything from USB, network, all that stuff you can set in here. Um, I'm just gonna show you a couple of them because we're not gonna go into every one, you know, exactly. But our main um, thing here will just show your system status, will show what drives you have installed, you know, information on all of that stuff. And you can hit escape and go out. Advanced, of course, is all of those settings that I talked about. So all of, you know, your USB, your, your integrated graphics, all that stuff can be all set in here. It's really easy to do. You have your boot device uh, priorities, again, that, you know, it was up here, but you can go ahead and set everything in here as well. Um, very easy to do. You can change the logo um, for your BIOS setup as well. Um, security, you can go ahead and set passwords and all that stuff. And then you can, of course, save and exit. But the shortcut for save and exit is um, F10, just like almost all BIOSes. Now, for all of you overclockers or who want to overclock your system or change those type of settings, that's in the OC settings. So we click on that. And you can go ahead and let me move it up here because there we go. Um, because I was changing some stuff. So this is what you're gonna do to change your CPU frequency, your CPU ratio, all of that stuff, um, everything with your memory as well. So you can go ahead and see all of these settings and easily change everything. Um, you can go, you know, uh, you can set up your, your DRAM timings, all this stuff, and all your voltages in here are in here as well. Um, it really has everything set up in here so you can do it all on one page very easily. Now, one thing that I didn't like about this BIOS is that, say I wanna change something, say, um, let's see, our CPU core ratio, it's set to auto. Now, if I click this, I can't really see what other voltages might not be. You know, maybe this is the first time I'm overclocking. I'm not sure what the specific voltage should be. I would like to see a list, but it's not here. Um, what I can do is I can manually put it in, you know, I can put in maybe 1.3, and it will put it in there. But if I want to change it back to auto, actually I have to type in auto, it's not listed. I would like to see that, uh, you know, just a list of all the values that I could put in there um, on all of this. And of course, if we go down, you know, we can see our CPU specifications in case you were unsure. You know, you can go into memory Z and see all of your SPD information for each, um, each one of your memory modules and then our CPU features. Of course, all the features that are on our Intel processor, you can enable or disable all of those if you like. Now our M flash, this is to easily flash the BIOS. Um, you can either do it, um, you can save your BIOS to storage so you can save it on a flash drive or you can update the BIOS from a flash drive. Again, extremely easy to use. Um, one thing I didn't mention also is there's this little help box over here, help and info box that will kind of give you information of what's currently selected. You can see how it changes there as I go over everything. So if you're not really sure what an option does, the help screen will go ahead and of course help you with that. Um, one other thing that I also didn't mention is if you do have a flash drive installed, you can hit F F12 and take a screenshot of the BIOS. 
So we'll get out of that and then save and load OC profile. So you can save up to six overclocking profiles um, within the BIOS yourself. You can you know, set those up however you like them, maybe once for gaming or once for you know, overclocking, however you wanna do it. You can set those profiles up um, within the BIOS. They, they'll save directly to there or you can actually load them um, from a USB or save them to a USB and then reload them, of course, from your USB device. We have a hardware monitor, which is actually pretty cool here. Um, it will come up and it will show you your temperatures and everything like that. And it would actually show you your fan curve, how you have all that set up. And you can actually set your fans, your fan speeds in here. So you can do um, to default, you can set full fan speed and everything like that. And you can see it's displaying this graph of our fan speed and our CPU temperature right there. You know, pretty cool. Um, and then you can see the other fan as well right there and then of course down at the bottom here are all of our voltages so if you're trying to figure something out or you just want to see how your fan is performing you can of course open this up and see all of that and then your board explorer is something that's pretty cool what this is actually going to do is going to show you all the information about certain parts of your motherboard and they give you this overview of the board so we can see here that we have our i7 47 4770k installed you know this is going to show us um, that we have an nvidia card in there it kind of just gives you an overview of everything. So if you're really not sure what, you know, what certain things do on the board, you can go ahead and see you know, what's on there. I'm not sure if they actually show you what's connected. Oh, they do. They actually show you. So if you have USB devices, um, you, they show you that they are connected here if you hover over one. Um, you know, we can see that this is the mouse we're using is a Logitech mouse. Um, it's pretty cool that that actually shows you, you know, what's connected to the back of the board and all that stuff just something really cool added in the bios you know you can actually learn some stuff from all of this um, but that is basically it i do like the bios it's not the most robust one that i've seen um, it works pretty well the only issue that i really see with it is that i can't see a full list of values for for certain settings but besides that it works really well it's really snappy i haven't had it you know glitch or anything like that so this has been our quick overview of the BIOS on the Z97i Gaming AC motherboard. Now, again, this BIOS should be pretty much the same throughout all of the Z97 um, gaming motherboards from MSI. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.